All right, so I bought a Boscam uh, transmitter receiver. Uh, these are the packages that came in. Um, it doesn't say Boscam anywhere on here. Um, so I'm doubting very seriously that these are in fact Boscam. Uh, my issue is everything's working fine. But if you look carefully at the channel selector, which is right in there, they're all down, which would mean one, two, three, and four is down or in the off position. And if you look at the back of the paper, that would be channel number one. But when the receiver is plugged into my monitor, it works on channel eight. And it's clear, but not sure if it's okay to run it like that. Um, the set came with everything you see. Um, except for the antennas, I bought that separately. Came with these junk antennas. Um, power lead, AC power lead, um, with the connector already on it. Um, so we got the receiver, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. Um, came with this lead here, up until this point. This one came with the camera I bought, which is a Sony Super HAD. Uh, I think it was 600 TV lines. Um, not the best lens, but still okay. Um, so the camera came with this short lead and also this little, so this short lead here and with the OSD. Uh, setup. It's uh, just a basically just a little panel to access the on-screen uh, menu to select your white balance and things of that nature, brightness and whatnot. Uh, nothing special about this, but once you get it on the actual device, uh, airplane, helicopter, you can take this off. You don't have to have it plugged up. It's just to make a selection, take it off. So you don't have all that extra weight. Um, now I am struggling with where to mount it. The DJI F450 is too low to mount my battery on the bottom and put the transmitter on top with the power supply for the transmitter. So I'm debating on what I should do to be able to either by landing gear or some kind of extensions to extend these by at least a couple of inches so that I could fit this battery beneath it without it hitting the ground when I land. Um, so if anybody has any suggestions on what I should do here or what I can do, um, can I leave the transmitter receiver the way it is um, as long as it's, the signal is correct? Or do I have to have it, you know, does it need to correspond with a channel in here and the channel on the receiver? Uh, any comments? Questions? Feel free.